Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'd like to tell you about a game that I worked on over the last couple weeks. In my last video, I said that I'd be participating in the Big Mode Game Jam put on by Video Game Donkey. And while I did participate, it did look a little differently than I expected. When I went into it, I was joining a team of three other people. That was the, the plan we'd met in the Big Mode Discord. Uh, we had teamed up, we'd started talking, and my role primarily was gonna be music and sound effects. We had uh, Chuck. Chuck is the, uh, the other co-creator of Backpack Boy. Chuck was gonna do the programming. We had two other people, one primarily working on pixel art and then one to do some programming and some pixel art. So we had a pretty diverse team with a lot of crossover. I was kind of planning on doing some artwork maybe, uh, but kind of leaving that to the guys who had done more of it. And uh, that's just uh, that was just what we planned originally. So as things got closer, we sort of lost contact with our primary artist. He uh, just disappeared like a fart in the wind, gone. Um, we ended up re-divvying up some of the jobs. So the programmer slash artist was gonna do a little bit more of the art. Uh, Chuck was gonna focus on the programming and I was probably gonna pitch in a little bit more with the art. So uh, I was, you know, kind of shifting gears, getting a little excited about doing something a little different than music and sound effects, but I was starting to get, you know, a little nervous. Oh, okay, so my role's changing a little bit, gonna have to work a little bit more on this. Uh, and then, you know, we get together for the first night of the planning session. We start talking about how we're gonna make the game and what it's gonna look like. And we divvy up some, some jobs to do and we get to work. A couple days into it, our other guy that we are working with decided he was going to drop out and work on another project. So now it was down to just Chuck and I. And that's when I started to get really nervous because I was not expecting to be doing all the artwork for this game. I was expecting to do a little bit of music and sound effects and, you know, do easy stuff for me. Uh, to do all the artwork for the game was a little overwhelming at first, uh, but in the end, it ended up being a really good thing. I got really excited and put a lot of work into it. I'm actually glad that it ended up working out that way because uh, I don't think I would have been pushed to work this hard and uh, put myself into this project as much as I did if I didn't have that push to to do it. So uh, no hard feelings about any by anyone involved. Uh, really, I'm just happy that I got to be involved in the way that I did. So that was uh, that was great. So the theme of the game jam was mode, and you could interpret that however you wanted. You could use it as a map term as an average, you could change the mode of your character. Uh, there was really no guideline on how to use it. Uh, we threw out a bunch of ideas. We talked about changing character mode. We talked about changing the world mode. Um, we talked about you know more abstract ideas. We talked about uh, one idea I threw out was to call the game a la mode and make it about ice cream. Uh, that was shot down uh, and I am not bitter about it at all. I would never be bitter about that idea, that good idea being shot down. No, it was a good idea that we didn't do it because there were a bunch of other games that did that. And so I'm glad we didn't do that. Uh, but it was sad to let that idea go. Um, <laughs> but uh, we ended up taking a look at changing world modes. That was kind of our main uh, idea was we have two worlds overlaid on top of each other and swapping between those, cutting holes in them. Uh, Chuck, the, our programmer, he was the one who came up with some of the ideas on how to uh, use a flashlight to cut between the two modes or the two worlds. Um, we ended up doing the two, two worlds ended up being different times, so future and past. So you'd cut between the future and the past with a flashlight uh, or a lantern. Um, or just a complete jump through a portal to flip the whole world. So that was the, the main mechanics that we focused on, was flipping between those two modes. And it ended up being a lot of fun to build puzzles and platforming levels around swapping and cutting through these two worlds or two modes. Over the next two and a half weeks, Chuck and I would work our butts off to get this game working and functioning. Chuck working a little bit harder than I did. Uh, when I'd go to bed, he'd just keep working on it and I'd wake up in the morning and he'd sometimes still be working on it. Uh, so props to Chuck for working so hard on the game and making it happen. Uh, 
Uh, I'm really happy with how things ended up coming out. We were hoping for about a 10 to 15 minute game, and we ended up with uh, 15 to 20 minutes roughly. Uh, you could complete it faster, but 15 to 20 minutes seems to be about how long it takes people to beat it. So super happy with that. Um, we had some people, a lot of people give us great feedback. Uh, both positive and negative, but over overwhelmingly people seem to like the game, so I'm super happy with that. Uh, we even had a German streamer who found the game. I don't know how he found it, but he played the game on his stream and kind of talked about it. I don't know what he was saying because he was speaking German, and I don't speak German. But it was cool to watch somebody get excited about the game, play it, experience it, uh, who wasn't a friend of mine or related to me, but just someone out in the wild who found our game and enjoyed it. So that was a very cool experience for me. Overall, it was a fantastic experience. The votes are still rolling in, so we don't know how we rank yet, but uh, regardless of how that comes out, I'm really happy with everything. And I really enjoyed the process. Uh, be doing a video game in three weeks, uh, with a small group, uh, or in this case just Chuck and I. It was a fun project and I really enjoyed every second of it. I learned a lot about the engine I was working with uh, and just how to make things quickly. So that was really cool. I don't know if I'll be doing one again because uh, it did take time away from the other project that I'm working on. Uh, I just kind of got shoved to the side and forgotten about for three weeks. So that's kind of a bummer. Uh, so again, I don't know if I'll be doing one for a while. I might get suckered into one again, but uh, I'm not gonna be looking to do one, at least for a little while. So what's next? I've got to put some more work into the jelly game. I'm hoping by end of January, early February, that I'll have something for you guys to see, uh, showcasing everything that I've been working on. In the meantime, go check out the music channel. There is a video showing the recording video for the Backpack Boy music. Uh, and if you haven't played Backpack Boy yet, down below there's a link to play Backpack Boy. It's free and 15 to 20 minutes. I hope you like it and I'll see you next time.